Welcome back to Picture Didn't Happen Presents Reaction Time. I am the Yeti. I am Mr. Wannabe Tough Guy. I am the Jew. He is. He always is. And I always have been. It, absolutely. Um, so if you've been here before, thanks for coming back and checking out the channel. All 141 of you. Yeah, sure. I, I monitor that shit closely. I, he, I, he looks I really the numbers. Do. I look at how many of you come back. We'll see. We look forward to checking out this next video with everybody. Um, say what you will about... We've had mixed reactions when we review this guy. Uh, this is Tom McDonald fake woke. And the reason why uh, I'm even being involved in this is because the subject fake woke is is something I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big... I'm a big fan of. I love that everybody thinks they know everything when literally we all know nothing. Like, straight up, this is me saying right now, I don't know a fucking thing. Also, because I actually like Tom McDonald, so I kind of keep bringing it up. Like, I want to watch this video, cause, so we need to do this. And since he's my brother, I sit through it. Here we are. So, we're obviously going to be taking a look at Fake Woke, and it's been everywhere. Huge numbers of plays coverage on the news this thing has been everywhere so let's get into this because i'm wanting to hear what this is all about i've had to avoid the internet i can't be easy for you ah oh, it's terrible i think it's crazy i'm the one who they labeled as controversial and cardi b is the role model for okay um... gross i agree Cardi is the, the that whole that whole thing. Um, I, I know that it's all about empowering women, but at a certain point, it goes past empowering and it just becomes repetitive, uh, remedial, and just not a good rap. I mean, she's got a terrible background. Ugh. Oh, we just pissed him off already. Already, that's what I'm saying. Like I was worried about. Ugh. Keep it going. Twelve-year-old girls. There's rappers pushing Xanax at the top of the billboard, but. I, God damn it. <laughs> I don't understand this. I want to die at 22 so I can be super famous and everybody swore they knew me when they never listened to my shit at all. Uh, I've, I've been through a Xanax run. Uh, it was it was not fucking fun. It does not need to be glorified in any way. Yeah, and I mean, do you even, like... Die. You don't even know who you are at that point. No, you're, you're just a goblin. And, and di dying on a plane with a body full of pills is no way to go. But if I mention race in a song, I'm scared I'll get killed for it. It's backwards. It's getting exponentially dumb. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom. And we talked about that on the fucking rap god video. Eminem kind of says what he wants. Yeah, and I kept seeing this where they said he apparently goes after Eminem. Um, I mean, that just he d he did do that so. Now he doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump. We're ashamed to be that. American. You I don't give a fuck who you voted for as an artist. I, I, I know that that's a hot take, and I know everyone's like, if you support this person or you support that person. I, I don't give a fuck who, who, you, who you voted for. Make good music. Yeah, and who you vote for doesn't make you that person. I mean, it, 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 it didn't fucking used to. It's, it's, it's like a, a failed sports team. You should probably Either side. You have the right to hate it and not get stoned to death in public. As children, we were taught how to walk and talk, but the system wants adults to sit down and shut up. Cancel culture runs the world now. The planet went crazy. I hate the cancel culture shit. I, yeah. I, I, I hate that it's so easy to take someone's life away because they said an offhanded remark. Granted, if someone did something irredeemable, something that can't be forgiven, yeah, they don't deserve to be famous anymore. But an offhanded remark that may or may not be misinterpreted does not need to be the end of someone's career. I mean, you know, also, heaven forbid, they've grown and learned since then. Mistakes are not allowed, and the court of public opinion is hella fickle. <laughs> Label everything we say is homophobic or racist. If you're white, then you're privileged, guilty by association. All our childhood here. I actually experienced the white thing myself. I just came from a really really poor job. I'm not going to I'm not going to call out the names or say anything, but I was I was uh uh the one white guy on on, on a crew and and I felt I felt singled out for things that didn't need to be singled out just because I was I was white and and 
it, it it didn't it didn't feel great. I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't the biggest fan of it, and I I don't have a fucking racist bone in my body, and I had to, I had to defend myself as though I was you know one of the people who was trying to lynch. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. Heroes got me too to the rapist. They never freed the slaves. They realized that they don't need the chains. They gave us tiny screens. We think we free because we can't see the cage. God damn, we're pausing a lot. Yeah, I mean. <sighs> Oh my god, it's been 50 seconds and he it's like every single line he's just well, it's 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 because it's like it's it's really is people are so convinced that they're philosophers, that they're scientists, that they're they're fucking the the smartest person on the planet and they're literally somebody behind a keyboard. Well, and I mean you're you think you're free, but the, the, your machine that you carry around, it tracks you. It has a microphone. You bugged yourself. I mean, we're looking at two. We're looking at two uh, back and forth monitors right now. Yeah. These these things record and receive. Like we're not free. <laughs> Privileged ish. They knew that race war would be the game they need to play for people to big teams. They use the media to feed the flame. They so fake woke. Facts don't care about feelings. They know they won't tell me what to believe in. They so. I don't really care for the chorus. I don't know. I dig it. I, I actually really like this chorus on this one. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really feeling it. Uh, I just. It grows on you. It will. Maybe it will. It just. It, <laughs> for sure. It will. Yeah, do. Facts don't care about your I think it's crazy how these people screaming facts, but they fake woke. Hate their neighbor because he wears a mask or he stays home. Has a daughter, but his favorite artist said he slays hoes. Picks her up from school. Music slaps on the way home. Censorship's an issue because they choose what they erase. There's a difference between hate speech and speech that you hate. I think. I got you. Mm -hmm. So, the difference between. Speech hate speech and speech that you hate like <sighs> that's 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 the problem with the first the first amendment it, it, e even though some of the things that people say are are, are just horrific it, it, it it's still protected speech well and i mean if even if you think it's something that's terrible you know to them it may not be i'm not saying all things are that cut and dry but you know Climate changes, and so do conditions on how people view things. And, yeah, and and I, I, ugh, that's a that's a fucking minefield. <laughs> Lives matter was the stupidest name when the system's screwing everyone exactly the same. I just want to spend Thanksgiving Day with food and my family without being accused of celebrating Native casualties. Yeah, I, I I'm sorry that. <sighs> I'm sorry that the shit that's attached to it is 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 so horrible. But I've always associated Thanksgiving with my family, my, yeah. my closest loved ones. Yeah, that me too. And you know, that's what kind of when it comes to Thanksgiving, like oh, I get to make all this food, and everybody's gonna be here, and we're gonna talk about everything, and it's gonna be a good time. So, yeah, I mean, history is very bloody and. That's something people don't like to talk about. History is bloody. And the more and more you try to re rewrite it and, and take it away, it the, makes it easier for those mistakes to not only be repeated, but just put on a fast track. We got so divided, it's black and white and political. Republicans are bigots, libtards if you're liberal. There's God, I hate both sides. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got to declare this loud and clear. I, I don't like the far left. I don't like the far right far right i i don't like fanaticism of, of of any kind yeah it doesn't make any sense to me i don't get it like uh, it, it, when you when you are so close-minded that literally the only way you can combat each other is to bring up how horrible each side is and not what your side is bringing to the to the to the picture just you know well we're not as evil as those guys and never mind that we the american people end up in the middle somewhere not getting help from anywhere not having a government do anything Riots in our streets and it's just getting worse y'all screaming deep on the police y'all a genius for sure they're underfunded already they're way too busy to work order food and call the cops see what reaches you first that's that's a hot take yeah i'm not a, i'm not one of these defund the police all cops are bastards but i think the answer is reform a change i think a the change reform. and the defund it never makes sense to me. Uh, he, you know exactly what he said. If they can't even afford to keep enough 
officers on the street to be able to do the basic patrols and get people out there to help you, how is taking away money going to make their job better and be able to help you more? First, segregation ended. That's a lie in itself. That was a strategy to make us think they were trying to help. They knew that racism was hot if they designed it to sell. We buy up every single box and divide us ourselves. They so fake woke. Facts don't care about feelings. They know they won't tell me what to believe in. They so fake woke. Same old, same souls. They so fake woke. We use violence to get peace and wonder why it isn't working That's like sleeping with a football team to try and be a virgin Politicians are for sale and someone always makes the purchase But you and I cannot afford it, our democracy is worthless If a man... Yeah, I mean, that... The politics, um, I mean... It really is just how much money do you have, I mean... Well, it's, it's who, on, it's whose pocket are you in? Well, yeah, exactly. What, what giant corporation are you selling out to? Yeah, and, well, you and I can't afford to pay for that. Well, that's straight up why we don't matter. And has mental illness, call them crazy, say it silently. When country's going crazy, we accept it as society. Get sick and take a pill when the side effects get you high. You get addicted like these rappers dying, fighting with sobriety. Censoring the facts turns our children into idiots. They claim it's for our safety. I'll tell you what it really is. Removing information that empowers all the citizens. The truth doesn't damage points of view that are legitimate. They're trying to change... I mean, that's... That's not wrong. Yeah, and uh, the kids thing, like the stuff that they're trying to take out of schools now just boggles my mind. Like, I understand uh, it's not comfortable. Not teaching the Trail of Tears is the worst thing I've ever heard of, and it's how long until we're not teaching the Holocaust, how long until we're not teaching the, well, the, the, yeah, the, the, rape, the rape of Nan King, the, some of the worst events that have happened that even though they, they you can't undo them. Well, the, I know they're actively talking about of mice and men about removing that from uh, high school reading because kids feel uncomfortable about the rabbits reading. or about Lenny. Uh, about the, I think part of it was like about the way women were treated and the way that people. Hey, new, new news flash: the past sucked. Yeah, and <laughs> growing, <laughs> learning it hurts. I mean, but not learning it, it doesn't help. I was not hurt at all by reading of Mice of Men as a, a high schooler, ever. Amen to amen and women. How do we let them make praying a microaggression? Instead of asking God for the strength to keep winning, we cheat to get ahead and then we ask him for forgiveness. Feminism used to be the most righteous of fights, but these days it feels like they secretly hate guys. I don't trust anyone who bleeds for a week and don't die. I'm just kidding. But everything else that I said is right. Um... Yeah, that was. <laughs> I mean, all right. So that 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 one, that was just to piss people off. You can't tell me that that wasn't anything other than just to get a little jab at the end to boost something. Well, I think it was sort of throwing in that little bit of okay. Well, I'm telling a joke. Mm, yeah, and every joke has just a little bit of fucking truth behind it. Right. Well, I was I was with this I was with this as then not being like oh I can't fucking but. That one, that one, that one kind of rubbed me along the wrong way, and I'm sure that people will be pissed that it rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> well, don't flip off the camera. I mean, censor me. They, so they do. Fake woke. Facts don't care about feelings. They know they won't tell me what to believe in. They so fake woke. Same old, same souls. They so fake woke. Facts don't care about your feelings. I feel like the root of this kind of happened in our generation where we had to start saying everybody's feelings mattered, everybody's thoughts mattered, and it's to the point now where literally it's only my thoughts matter. Only my feelings matter. Kind of the evolution of where where we've taken this to. and <sighs> Ugh. This whole fucking thing makes me feel like I need a shower. So there you go. Um... Our take on Tom McDonald, Fake Woke. Haters, this wasn't the worst thing I'd ever listened to. I mean, that's a positive review for him, I guess. I thought, you know, it definitely brings up a lot of good points, as a lot of his songs do. I enjoyed it. 
I'm looking forward to the next album because usually when he has songs that I haven't heard before, it means a new album is going to be coming. So looking forward to that drop. Um, in the meantime, we're going to be doing a lot more of these videos. From everybody. Uh, everybody. We're looking. Leave suggestions down below and we'll add them onto our growing list of It's getting bigger and bigger. It, it is. So we got a lot of work to do. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey, I got my fingers in the, in the frame that time. Mm -hmm.